We are here. We're live. We're in Shooters Hill, Welling. This is my hometown. We're on this old school church. We've got to do a nice little training walk. So we've got a private on for the week. We've got a digger in. We've got a digger foot in. All along here. All the way up there. Something like this. We've got a right angle here. Up top there. Got a little bit of experience of the digger. Master Charles dig a day for the week. So yeah, let's get cracking. Boom! It is now Friday. What you see earlier in the video was Monday. We've had three days off just because of sheer rain, snow, miserable, miserable weather. It is currently snowing. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we need to get it dug before the digger goes back. So we're gonna have a cold, cold, wet, miserable day. But you know, you gotta love the graft. It is actually quite lucky that we've been off work because look at my foot. This is why we love Sunday League football in here. Have a look at this. Sore as anything. Wouldn't change it for the world. Come on, let's crack on. Boom. How miserable does that look? <laughs> huh? Miserable. Oh, oh that looks grim. Basically, we've dug the channel all the way down here, all the way down here. Here is the, the exit door, and they want the stairs built here. So we've got a big dish right out. We're just going to create a pile of mud up here because they're going to backfill it at some point. But we're getting there. Oh, he's got a sinker. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck it out, it's over touching the back. Look at this, it looks like a bomb has hit it. Three days of solid rain, we can't get no traction under the wheels. 
We're sinking in that. Can't get rid of this. Just an absolute mess. Here we go, here we go, touching wood because it's freezing. Let's get the mixer going. But here's a tip for anyone. If you're not having four shovels of cement per bag, you are not a man. Real men, four shovels. So that's two shovels and that's two shovels. Simples, yeah. We're gonna do a nice four and one mix because it's a retaining wall. So let's crack on, yeah? There we go, that is an eight and a two. This is a subliminal message to make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now look into the mixer and you will be hypnotized. Oi, oi, we are back in the game. We've got some footings. We've got it set out. We've got some free calls of block work. We've got some wee poles. We are back. We're back cruising. It's about time we got the trail out and we earned some money. But you know, when you're not working, it's raining, just take a deep breath and enjoy the moment. Just relax, put your feet up at home. And when you can get out and earn some money, fucking have it. We've got ourselves a 20 mil bump. So you've got some Motherfucking Donald. That should be called the tent cell. That's probably stiff mark. Stiff mark, no feb. Listen, you hear that? Kids in the jungle. Kids in the jungle. Kids in the jungle. You know what? Here's a tip for all the youngsters out there. A good bricklayer will never put his trail down. Pick your block up, stick your trail down the back, and grip. A 
good for oh you put that down stones in it. <laughs> Good grip there, I never put these trail down. <laughs> oh, is it gonna fit? Yeah, is it gonna fit? Would it fit like a glove? Oh, Who's ready for the big bump out? There we go. The bricks are over there. Just behind that fat head there are some bricks. We're walking up down here. And pump this out. We've already we've already started loading some blocks out there. It goes all the way down there. This is a lovely retaining wall. Luckily, they've just said, "Oh, can we have it a course fire?" Oh, and we've got piers that go up to head height every two meters, which is added on bare work. And it's only like twenty minute drive from my house. <laughs> what up, ladies and gentlemen? This. It's called a hod, and this is what we do. One, two, reverse it. Two, 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 two. Spin it around. You squat, and you pop it like it's hot. Nice and easy. I actually just thought of another tip. While you're hod carrying, if you put the frog, oh, that's the wrong way, if you put the frog this way, like this, when you get to the other end, you'll pop it and it'll be frogged up. There we go, lads. How to be a hod carrier, number one. Oh yes, we are loaded. Looking like a Brit lad's work dream. And now this wouldn't be Adam Hatch's YouTube channel without a problem coming up. And the problem we've got today, there's no external tap. No external tap. We have borrowed the neighbor's tap, ran a hose underneath the fence. We've been filling these bins up. Neighbours gone out, got no water. There's a sensor tap in the toilets. There's always, always something. <laughs> oh, Master Trails had to shoot off, in he? Leaving the big dog on a 60 brick run. Uneven ground. What a liberty, what a liberty. That's why they call me the big dog, innit? Here we go, it's time for the strength test. Mixer, van, get it back a little bit, but it wouldn't be a strength test, would it?
So, look at this. All I've got is old hand grenades. They used to be pre-workout tablets that absolutely blew my head off. It's been sitting in my toolbox for, I don't know, a year. Just doing absolutely nothing. So, I've had a fault. Why don't we bury, bury the hand grenade in the back of a church? Could be 10 years, could be 20 years, could be 100 years could be a thousand years and at some point somebody is going to dig up a hand grenade and shit themselves so I'm going to write a note write my pen sick pen in it to whoever finds this My name is Adam Hatch. Find me on YouTube and subscribe. What's the date? This was written the 16th of the 3rd, 2023. Charlton Athletic. Ball club fan peace. Yeah, there we go. To whoever finds this, my name is Adam Hatch. Find me on YouTube and subscribe. This was written on the 16th of the 2023 Charlton Athletic Football fan, Football Club fan. Peace, mate. They're gonna shit themselves. Here we go. Let's bury it down there. A hand grenade right next to the door. Someone at some point in the future is going to shit themselves. Oh, yes, it's the end of the day. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad day's work. I've used every brick up. It seems a lot harder laying bricks on your own off site. Where you're on site, five, six hundred bricks, light work. Off site, hit 300 bricks is a shift. Just me or, or what? Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Plenty more coming. I've got to take these piers up. We've got a brick on edge. We've got a backfill. We've got block work. Loads coming up. So stay tuned. This is part one. Part two coming to you shortly. Thank you for watching and make sure that you subscribe.